Well, imagine buying a home that has hosted two presidents and the Karate Kid. Forget the presidents, right? People who care about the Karate Kid. <laughs> good days at Lee Seedy shows us it's possible for the right price right here in Metro Atlanta. It's a hidden gem in Marietta, Georgia, a six bedroom Mediterranean style home on a sprawling estate worth $2.6 million. So this house originally, it was built in the 60s and it was previously owned by a notable lobbyist. The property dubbed Villa Flora has created a buzz after being featured in the popular TV show Cobra Kai, serving as the on screen home for the show's star Ralph Macchio. So right now it is incredibly famous because of the Cobra Kai series was actually filmed here um, around the house so a lot of the scenes you might recognize uh, some, some of the parts of the house from some of the Cobra Kai scenes. But the home's history goes far beyond its Cobra Kai popularity says real estate agent Chad Caritas. Yes so this house is made to entertain. It has hosted Arnold Palmer who is not a president <laughs> and, and then uh, Ronald Reagan as well so there's been two sitting U.S. presidents um, and just lots lots of history built built into this house. The home was renovated in 2008 with stunning features that include an oversized kitchen, clay walls, cathedral ceilings, and an extravagant master bedroom suite. But its most impressive appeal is the atrium. So I think the first thing that you noticed is right right behind me, the atrium. So that's all under air. It's a 22 foot atrium. Uh, and there's also, they, they built around with the copper gutters and irrigation system. So all the rainwater flows down uh, to for, for the garden and it really is a spectacular indoor outdoor lifestyle. The home was even featured on HGTV when the new owners transformed it. They preserved a historic part of the home, creating a shower around what was the original garden. And a fun fact about the garden is that Jimmy Carter actually helped lay the bricks to build that garden. A recreation of the interior of the home is still used in Cobra Kai. Sony actually purchased the furniture from the homeowners and moved it on set in California. As far as any outdoor scenes, the crew and actors have to fly to Atlanta to shoot those. I'm Elise Seedy for Good Day Atlanta. Now, since the home was listed for sale, as you might imagine, a lot of Cobra Kai fans, well, they <laughs> showed up at the house. But the owners have been very nice to fans, but ask that they don't knock on the door. Beautiful home. You know, I'm looking for a house. Well, there you go. They probably, <laughs> the, the fans probably just want to see how well the fence is painted and the deck is sanded because that's how they trained in the movie. Right? Oh, yes, yeah. yes.